Hello and welcome to my channel, Mommy Lee Bookbird. And on today's video, we will be unboxing May's Fairy Loop box. Let's jump into it. And you guys can have the look before. Oh. You guys can have the look before I can. Now looking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we have the spoiler card, which is very pretty. But I'm not going to look at it because I don't want spoilers. And the first thing that catches my eye is this gorgeous tin. And it has a quote which says, We hunt the flame, the light and the darkness, the good this world deserves. Have the. There's the elf. Mm -hmm. That's the elf. And on the top, it's got a cute little, two little swords with an hour. And it has the opening of the tin, which opens up like that. It's very pretty. I really like this. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Next, we have a candle. get the camera to focus on it no. it's not focusing I'm sorry it has the tribal desert made out of soy it's vegan and it's inspired by the book an ember in the ashes by Zeba Taiho and that smells so good. Mm, it has like um, a very sweet smell. Mm, trying to think what it could be. It's not quite fun enough, but it's. I don't have a fruity smell. I really like that. And I love my candle, so that's amazing. Finally got a candle. That's so lovely. <laughs> okay. There's no such thing as just a story. Elwyn Hamilton. And the design on this wooden spoon is so pretty. So lovely. Oh, that's so so gorgeous. I love it. The technique that's gone into having the different dark fonts is really nice. I like that. I really like that. It's really pretty. Oh, that's so cute. So we have this little pouch. I suppose you can use it for a wide range of things, like if, if your phone's slim enough maybe, but I think it might, the width might not be big enough, but for sunglasses definitely. And it says you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it. The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry. That's really pretty. And it feels so soft. I love that. That's really nice. Just put that down there. We also have some magic desert sand, triple blend luxury bath salts, or as they call it, magic desert sand, which is really nice. Relaxing and soothing hot sandalwood. Ooh. I do love my bath salts. 
I really like lavender because I think that's really nice, especially because I suffer from anxiety, so I use a lot of lavender in my bath for my baths, but this is really nice. Triple burn luxury bath salts. Looks nice. I can't wait to use that. <laughs> We also have a towel, which I'm going to move back so you guys can see it properly. Often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings by S.A. Chocobote. I love this. I love getting their towels because I think their tea towels are so nice and pretty and are so detailed. It's always just nice to have something which has like a bookish quote on it. And that's lovely. I love that. Especially the, the design at the bottom. Oh, it's so pretty. Next we have the tarot cards, of course. We have the Three of Cups, which is really pretty. And the Four of Cups. Once again, I don't know who these characters are, but I am assuming they are from Sarah J Maths as they were last month but yeah they're really nice i like them i think they're really lovely and last but not least my favorite part we have the book or before the book we have the bookmark which is May 2020, Desert Dreams. It's really lovely. We have the letter with the picture on it. We got the fairy scoop, which I'll go into in a minute. And we have the book. And from what I can see, it's pretty. That's nice. Girl, Serpent, Thorn. The lesser... Bashadors? <gasps> Look at the sprayed edges. It's like a mint green, which goes so nice with the pink. And the flowers on it. And the green... It's like a light green mint colored... Sort of albino snake that's on it. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. There was and there was not, as all stories began, a princess cursed to be poisonous to the touch. But for Soraya, who has lived her life hidden away from everyone apart from her family, safe only in her gardens, is not just a story. As the day of her twin brother's wedding approaches, Soraya must decide if she's willing to step outside of the shadows for the first time. Below in the dungeon is a demon who holds knowledge that she craves. The answer to her freedom. And above is a young man who isn't afraid of her, whose eyes linger not with fear, but with an understanding of who she is beneath the poison. Soraya thought she knew her place in the world, but when her choices lead to consequences she never imagined, she begins to question who she is and who she is becoming. Human or demon? Princess or monster? Wow. And of course it's signed, which is lovely. I'm really excited to get into this book. And 
here is the desk sleeve the dust jacket that's on top underneath and that design is so pretty I love it it's so beautiful I'm very excited to read this. Wow. So, the letter from her. Dear Fairy Loop Reader, There are roses that grow right outside my bedroom window, and in the spring they get so tall that I start to feel a little like Sleeping Beauty, surrounded by thorns. With its good fairies and bad fairies, Sleeping Beauty is, to me, a fairy tale full of contradictions and dualities. At its heart is a girl who is both powerless and dangerous. Though asleep, she's surrounded by deadly thorns that protect her. The heroine of Girl Serpent Thorn is herself a contradiction, a princess who feels like a monster, cursed and confined, yet brimming with poison and power. I think many of us feel that way, like a puzzle made up of pieces that don't always seem to fit together. Some of us may feel like we're poisonous, untouchable, or covered in thorns, but as Sora learns in the novel, sometimes it's what we don't like about ourselves that ends up being the source of our greatest strengths. In these pages, I hope you find excitement, emotion, empowerment, and comfort if you need it. Happy reading, Melissa. That's lovely. I'm really excited to read her book. Inside. And as you can see here, the exclusive cover of Fairy Loot's edition has a pink cover, while the normal has a white background. This one has a dusty pink. I really like this. This is really lovely. So looking at next month, a different kind of magic. And this is June's, so hopefully it should be coming soon. We all love magic and this month we want to celebrate unique magic systems. Magic that is a little out of the ordinary, or well, not quite what you've came to expect. The types of magic that make you think, they make you wonder, they make you wish. You can, can expect items inspired by the Bone Season, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Starless Sea, The Shadows Beneath Between Us, Alice in Wonderland, and Blood Air. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will have two books. The second book in this box is a YA release that won't be released until spring 2021 and this beautiful paperback edition will have an exclusive foil filled cover and sprayed edit. Our feature book of this month is a tale of destiny and sisterhood filled with shaman magic. In this epic story newly awakened abilities are tested as dark Knight looms and the kingdom is on the brink of war. The Fairy Loot exclusive will also have an exclusive cover, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, and will be signed by the author. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. It has two books. That's really cool. My first box, my first Fairy Loot box, it has two books, so that's quite exciting. Now looking at the spoiler card. Let's have a look. The amazing book is tin. She's inspired by We Hunt the Flame. And it's perfect for storing anything from tea leaves to trinkets, which is really practical, and I really like that. And when me and my boyfriend eventually move, probably we'll be storing either jewelry or tea leaves. I might maybe use it for tea leaves. I think it's really nice, really pretty to use for that. <laughs> Oh, so they previously featured some kitchen utensils and cutlery, but we thought there was something missing, which is why we have the bookish wooden spoon, but I wasn't collecting fairly at the time. Hero of the Fall is where it's from, but it's really nice, I like that. And then of course the tea towel collection, we're sending you the gorgeous one inspired by the City of Brass. I like that. And I like how it has a multi-purpose, as I say, like practical items I always appreciate way more. 
there's a bath salt made by Little Heart Gifts. So, and you can also use them for your foot, which is also very nice. Tribal Desert Candles by, by the Anambo in the Ashes series, which is this one here. Can't wait to set that alight. It'd be really nice to burn this candle. A sun grass pouch, so you can always protect your pair of shades, which is what this is, which is great for me. Because I have to use shades because I have migraines. So it's always good. And when I get my new pair soon, it'll be really nice to keep them in there. And of course, three and four cups are designed by the very talented Gabriella, are inspired by Throne of Glass series, which I'm really happy about. And Girl Serpent Thorn, so that's lovely. I also want to just quickly note as well that from my last video I said that I wasn't sure if Fairy Loop had made a like response to the horrible homophobic comments said by JK Rowling, which I do not support. Um, and they have, and they've said that they've got one more item that will be in the August box, which was already pre-done before her remarks were made. And then after that, they have said that they will no longer be having Harry Potter themed items in the Fairy Loot box, and I'm really happy about that because I don't see why we have to, why we should support someone who says such horrible, harmful things. And it hurts a whole, you know, a whole range of people and communities. It's just not right, and I do not support it whatsoever. So I'm really proud of Fairy Loot for making a stance against it. I know there have been other boxes like Illumicrate, who's also done that, and Fae Crate. So I'm really happy. I hope other boxes follow suit, that would be good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching till the end. Bye!